Okay, we're going to look at two examples next, and we're going to be estimating um, slopes, estimating rates of change, first based on a graph, then based on a table. All right, so they want us to use um, the slopes of UQ, UR, US, and UT here to estimate the rate of change of Y at a specific value of X. So they want us basically to find the slope of the tangent here at five, and it actually have to go through there, right? Just right there. All right, they want us to estimate that by finding closer and closer values of the slope there, all right? So what we're doing, um, I remember when I was in high school, we did this with a piece of spaghetti. Um, the the teacher gave us a a piece of spaghetti and we kind of put the spaghetti on the paper and kind of got closer and closer and closer to what we were looking at. So if you can imagine, I drew these lines here for you. Um, the closer and closer you get to, you know, looking at, at these slopes, the closer you'll get to the actual slope of the at the point x equals 5. So we're kind of using some slopes of secants to f approximate the slope of the tangent. And that's what we're doing here. All right. So I've already written out the points from what I believe they are based on my reading of the graph. So here's one and a quarter, two and about 0.8, three and about maybe 1.8, four and about maybe 3.2, and then five, five. So let's go ahead and use these values to find some slopes. So U will always be the 0.55. So the Y value is five and UQ, five minus 0.25, okay, divided by five minus one. All right, now if you've got a calculator, you're gonna get something like this, 4.75 divided by four, all right? And that is about 1.1875. UR is going to be 5 minus 0.8 divided by 5 minus 2, which is 4.2 divided by 3, which is 1.4. US is going to be 5 minus, uh, let's say, 1.8 divided by 5 minus 3. So what is that? 3.2 divided by 2, which is 1.6. All right, and then UT, so I'm off. UT is 5 minus 3.2 divided by 5 minus 4. We end up with something like 1.8 divided by 1, which is 1.8. So what I want you to do is I want you to notice, and let me see if I can turn on my highlighter here. Highlighter, come on. There it is. What I want you to notice is these values, all right? What are they getting closer and closer to? The closer that we can get to the value five right here, the closer, you see these tangents, the closer that I get, the closer that I get, my, my slope is approaching a certain number, all right? I want you to think about that for a second. What does it look like it's approaching as we go downward, all right? Well, the function, all right, the slope, all right, is approaching. Two at x equal five. The slope is approaching two at x equals five. That's what it looks like. Okay, so um, what I'm thinking here is, okay, the slope is approaching 2 at x equals 5. Yeah, that's probably about right. I mean, if you think about it, you know, if you were to draw a line tangent here, right there, your rise over your run might be, you know, up 2 over 1. Okay, think about it. All right, so that's where we're building up to, and we're getting, we're getting ready, you know, in the very next section of study to talk about something called a limit. All right. And we're, we're, we're getting there, but we're building up to it and we're going to 
we're using the foundational concepts here. So I'm going to pause real quick so I can show you the next problem. Okay. The next one right here, it says use the table to estimate the rate of change of Y at the specified value of X. So the specified value of X here is X equal one. So let me pull out my highlighter real quick. And I think it's going to be a constant battle with this thing all year. The value is X equal one. So, well, it's impossible to tell uh, really what the slope is at one because I mean, it is possible, but what I'm saying is, you know, we don't have a graph or anything. We could plot this stuff, but the best thing that we could do is we can use something in the neighborhood of one. And that is this value 0.8 and 1.2, because these are the closest values um, near one uh, that we could use to try to estimate. So here I could say, well, if we're looking for X equals one, the slope there, I'll take my value y2, which is 0.36, minus the value of y1, which is 0.16, and I'm getting that from here and from here, and I'm going to divide that by the change in the x, which is 1.2 minus 0.8. So if you do that, you're going to get 0.20 on the top, and in the bottom, you're going to get about 0.4. You can use your calculator, but I mean, it really reduces to half. So 0.5 is my estimate for the slope all right so um if i'm estimating the rate of change the slope um around x equal one is approximately and remember these are approximations is approximately 0 0.5 0 0.5 all right, so that's what you're looking at there. And I know that looks like maybe dot S, so let me fix that. I'll put 0 0.5, how does that work? All right, so uh, some really good examples. First, we looked, of course, at a graph, then we looked at a table of values, and we're estimating slopes. So this is a really good introduction to what calculus is all about and what we're gonna be focusing on uh, the rest of the year. So as always, if this video was helpful, be sure to like and subscribe.